Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. How's everybody doing? Chelsea. Chelsea. I'm doing great. Looking good. Which, by the way, I love that people are calling me Chelsea. They can't stop. I know. They can't. They really cannot stop saying Chelsea. And it makes me happy when I see a comment and they're like, hey Chelsea. It's fitting. Yeah. Do you think you're going to legally change your name? Dude, what if I did legally change it to Chelsea? How would you spell it? C-H-E-L-T-C-I-E. Chelt. Chelsea. Okay. I bet there's somebody out there with that name. Chelsea? Mm -hmm. You should spell it C-H-E-L-T space capital C. Dash. You got to throw a dash dash in there. Dash. Dash. Yes. What's that? What's that? Uh, Shredder. Shredder. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that. I was trying to remember what it was. I was thinking it was Dasher, but it's Shredder. Dude, I was dying when I actually went back and heard that pod. And you said, if you're, if you're an uncle that's murdering people, (laughs) dude, holy shit. I don't even remember saying that. Holy shit. There's no tell what we say on this pod that we don't even realize. Yeah. Shredder. Shredder. Shredder's been sticking. Shredder. Good times. Um, so what have you guys been doing? Oh God. Well, I'm technically out on tour right now. I am, yeah. I am, uh, um, we're pre-recording this for when I go on tour, you know, we're doing that, but I'm on tour right now is what I'm doing. Your first show is tomorrow. No, Beth, this is the week after I'm going to be, well, maybe you're right, but next week I'm going to be in Toronto. My first Canada show. Dude, I might have to freaking get a last minute ticky. Please drive up. Maggie, to, are you dr- going? Drive up with us. We're going to Buffalo. We have the Toronto show. October 12th and then we're coming back over and we have um, shows in Buffalo, New York, October 13th through the 15th. Get your tickets, eatmytrash.com. You should drive up to Buffalo with us and cross over to Canada with us and then come back to Buffalo. Okay, do I need my passport? Yeah, you're going to a different country. Gosh, (laughs) I gotta renew that thing, dude. Is it not legal? Is it not renewed? I think 2026. Five. Or okay, six. I'm getting close. Okay, but you got time. We're it's we're just going in a few days, you know, or whatever next week. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I do hear that six month thing. You is pl- crucial. Please come to the Canada show. I'm excited. It'll be my first time in Canada. Um, Beth and Tina are nervous that <laughs> they're not going to be able to go across the border. Huh? Because mm-hmm. they have DUIs from like 10, 12 years That's ago. Fu- that would honestly be fucking funny. <laughs> that's crazy. They don't let anybody in that's ever had a DUI. Well, and I didn't know this, but Beth knows more about it. Apparently, mm-hmm. they're very, I don't want to say picky, but they're very... Uh, they, they can be very picky yeah. about who they let in. It on, just depends on the person. Yeah, who on, are you? On, on the, the agent. Mm-hmm. On the agent, if mm-hmm. he's... What kind of mood they're in. Yep. Because if you have anything on your record or anything like that, they can say, well, you're not coming in. And mine is nine years old. That's pretty much life. How somebody's feeling, you know, deciphers a situation. So we are actually driving up to Buffalo. We're dropping our um, trailer off. We have a fan who's letting us uh, keep it on her farm. That's sweet. Because we we can't take it over the border because they'll need to, we we don't keep quantities. It's, it's it's a whole mess. Inspection and stuff. So we're dropping off our trailer, driving over to um, Toronto, and if Tina and Beth can't get in, then we're gonna drive back, drop them off in Buffalo, and then me and Libby are going. Dang. We rented a really cool Airbnb. I'm uh, gonna hit up a couple restaurants. I already have it planned out. Mm. Yeah, see you on the flip side. Mm. I guess. Hopefully, I don't have anything on my record. Guess mm. we'll find out if anybody guess we'll has anything. Out. Yeah. So, so I figured when we cross the border, I'm gonna be the one that drives. Cause it just looks better, right? It doesn't. If why? Cause you're blonde. No, because if if Mag or if Beth and Tina are driving, I just feel like it. It if, yeah. I, if I'm the one talking and saying, hey. I'm here for work. I have a show. I do stand-up comedy. It's may, it may he may be like oh you know who knows, who knows. 
I've, it's worth a try. I've it's worth been a try. asked for my ID one time. A cop pulled us over and asked for everyone's ID in the car. Really weird, and that's only happened once. And I was just kind of like, do I have to give my fucking ID? Like, I'm not even driving. That's it's odd. really odd, and I'm still thinking about it. I, that's happened to me before, where you weren't driving. He asked for your yeah. Huh. They asked for your ID. I guess they check everybody to see if they have warrants. Oh. I don't feel like that should be a thing, honestly. Right. right. Like, you got to get me when I'm driving. <laughs> right. Were you a teenager? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe he just thought, oh, I'm going to... I don't know. I haven't heard that. Weird. Yeah, very weird. So, if you know why that happens. <laughs> so, uh, you guys in Canada may see Paige at the uh, Toronto show. So, we'll see. We'll see who you see. We'll see who you see there. She'll be out roaming around and... and Oh, gosh. Every time you come to a show, if you walk out in the lobby, it is mayhem. I disappear for hours. Literally, when you came to the Boston show, you were you had disappeared for hours that we thought the show was over. And we thought something was wrong with her. We were worried. I tried calling her, did not answer. I'm like, where did Paige go? We haven't seen her in like three hours. She was out front. Just people just want to talk to her. And we, you know, we... Dang. Yeah. Well... Beth needed something, ran out to the merch stand, yeah. and, but nobody else was back there, and Chelsea can't go out there, and, you know, yeah, she's Tammy. And then, so I was like, I got to do it. And as soon as I went out there, there was no turning oh. back. Like, I got sucked outside. My phone died. I was looking for phone chargers. Had to go up to um, a hotel room and try to get a charger. Everyone had Androids. We didn't see her for hours. Yeah. I, well, I thought something was wrong. Till finally, like, we're like we're sitting there waiting, and finally she just walks up. We're like, where have you been? She's like, uh, outside, down I, the street. Down, I was at a, just wild. For a while, I sat by the dumpsters in the um, alleyway. Yeah. Just waiting. Waiting on what, honey? For you guys to either come out oh. or something, because if I walked around oh, again, yeah. I would have been yeah. sucked back in. So, yeah, yeah sat by those and so nothing yeah so but it's fun it is fun and it may happen to it will happen to you again at the toronto show so we'll see yeah and i and i love it because you guys are awesome and it's cool meeting people who support i love it when you come to the shows because if you don't come to the shows people ask anyway <laughs> where's Paige? i'm like oh she's at home they get so upset is it weird you have to we well i guess we all have to just say well what is this person we just say like whatever yeah like, what's the main thing you go to when people ask where you are, yeah. I'm just like, oh, she's at home, honeys. Because people think <laughs> that we all, and people be like, where's Maggie? Where's Greg? Yeah. Where's Officer Daniels? And I'm like, they, everyone can't come with us. Yeah. It's such a, you know, so, but they all want to see all you guys. Just everyone has their own lives going. Right. Um, exactly. Uh, anything else you want to chat about? Or I can go ahead and start this new thing I want to do called Have You Heard? Have you heard what? Well, let me tell you. How about that? Um, a rare... <laughs> the sounds. They're cute. So Why are y'all making dude. fun of me? Oh, my god! What? You could be so a real cute. live <laughs> it's out of control. talk show host. For kids, too. Well, Maggie, I am. That's what I'm doing. I mean, here. yeah, you are. Okay, yeah, here we go. That is true. We all are, damn. Have you heard a rare spotless giraffe was born in a Tennessee zoo? A female giraffe was born at Bright Zoo in northeastern Tennessee late last month. But unlike her mom, she was born without any spots. Standing at 14 to 15 feet tall, giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world. When mothers give birth, the calves are already 6 feet tall. And other than on rare occasions, they're born covered hoof to horn in brown spots. Bright Zoo in Limestone, Tennessee announced that it welcomed the birth of a giraffe without any spots. Giraffe experts believe she is the only solid colored giraffe living anywhere on the planet. Pictures of the calf can be seen on the Bright's Zoo Facebook page. How exciting is that? That's cute. That's something that I haven't heard. Yeah, and then also, this get ready for this one. An 11-year-old boy caught a fish with human-like teeth in an Oklahoma pond. I haven't heard mm. that either. Whoa. Joanna Clinton was sitting on her back porch watching her, her son Charlie, 11, 
fish in a pond behind their house in Oklahoma this past weekend when he suddenly started yelling for her. He was screaming, oh my God, mom, oh my God. Clinton told the N N P R. I thought he was being dramatic, to be honest, she added. Then when she got a close look at Charlie's alarmingly weird catch, <laughs> obviously being in a neighborhood pond, we're used to just catching a few bass or catfish. She said, I mean, nothing with human like teeth. Oh, yeah. It turned out that Charlie had landed a Paku, a fish that is a cousin of the piranha and whose outsized teeth have long struck fear in swimmers for years. The Paku is a native of South America, but this one was swimming in a small pond in the Clinton's suburb north of Oklahoma City. Wow. Paku. Dude, they can get anywhere. How did it get in that pond? We don't know, and I don't know, and they they posted it to their Facebook page, and they contacted the local... um, um, Wildlife? Yes, like the local, yeah, yeah. And um, they said it was a catch and release pond. So they, they put it back and then the wildlife was like, eh, we need to get it out of there type of thing. So they're now trying to catch it and to get it out. Oh, Wait. dang. So who knows? How um, did it look like what? There's only one of them, they think, or what? The Paku? Well, don't know in this pond, but it's a, it's a native to, um, um, it's definitely native to South America, which is odd. But um, sounds like a damn Pokemon character. We will post the picture to our Instagram. Um, that motherfucker's got human teeth. I've Pac- seen pictures of those. I thought they were always fake. I know, me too. Very real, very real. Um, roller coaster riders were trapped upside down for hours after mechanical failure. A summer amusement. Uh, turned into a serious nightmare on Sunday after a roller coaster malfunctioned in midair, trapping eight passengers upside down for several hours. This was in Crandon, Wisconsin. When it stopped unexpectedly because of mechanical failure, emergency personnel were dispatched to the scene within 15 minutes, but needed a re- needed to request special equipment, including three ladder trucks from nearby towns to complete the rescue. One truck with the capability of rising over 100 feet took 45 minutes to arrive on the scene. The complexity of the operation meant that the first of the passengers were not safely back on solid ground until 3.20 p.m., roughly two hours after the ride had first gotten stuck. Malt stucky. Malt stucky, baby. It took another hour and 40 minutes for all remaining passengers to be rescued. I would be livid. Oh, damn, dude. You'd be feeling like your head was just full of blood. I would be so mad. I feel like those places like that Mm -hmm. need to have those trucks and stuff ready there and ready to go. Because that happens every month. It happens a lot. And they need to be prepared if you're going to run roller coasters like that. But how prepared can you be? Well, I mean, uh, y'all, think about that. Upside Mm -hmm. down. No. Nope. My head would do, feel like it would explode. I know. I can hardly bend down and tie my shoe without it <laughs> feeling like it's going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then imagine like once you are upside back regular, I can you imagine the rush? Oh my gosh. I'd be trying to do like crunches. My abs would be, I'd just maybe give up. The lawsuits. Yeah, these, these carnivals are not safe and they don't give a fuck. I mean, look at these cornies, dude. Okay, oh. talk about <laughs> records. Y'all want to talk about some records? They have records freaking larger than LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Just um, go with caution, I would say. Um, longest alligator in Mississippi, in Mississippi history. Whoa. Captured in Yazoo City, Mississippi. A group of hunters have captured the longest alligator ever to be recorded in Mississippi according to the State Department of Wildfire, Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks. Four state residents, Donald Woods, Will Thomas, Joey Clark, and Tanner White, harvested a male alligator Saturday in West Mississippi's Sunflower River. It weighed 802 pounds Yazoo. Whoa. and measured 14 feet, 3 inches long. Breaking the previous record by over two inches. Damn. That's a long day. That That 800 pounds? How did they get that in the... That's a malt. How did they get that? That's a malt heavy. (laughs) 
How That's a malt biggie. What do you mean? Well, where did they get it? Just from the river. I mean, how did they pull it up? I don't Damn. know. Maybe I don't. walked. I have no idea. Two men caught it? Four. Oh, four, four. men? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe they had a winch. Four men, one gaty. Yeah. That should be a show. You they had that malt licky. They had that malt licky, baby. So that was Have You Heard. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Yeah, have you heard my dad um, had an alligator growing up? Had an alligator? Like eight alligator no he had one as a pet and then it got too big so the zoo had to take it over and his its name was kitty okay where did he get it from that's interesting <laughs> you know we need to start writing down these questions so when he comes back on should we try calling him right now yeah yeah let's try calling him let's see here hey Al. while you're calling him yeah. that um spotless giraffes four and a half hours away from us it's Ooh. in Knoxville, isn't it? It's outside oh, Knoxville. Hold on. Alan. We always have the worst no, luck got... with calls. Your call has been forwarded. Well, fuck that, I guess. We should have known better than try to call somebody on this podcast. I know. They never answer. Ever. Ever. It never happens. I wonder why. So your dad had an alligator. Very interesting. Yeah, and named Kitty. Named Kitty. Come on, Kitty interesting um do you have any sounds you'd like to let me hear big ones you do you want to hear them yeah i really do let's do it get your ears ready we're doing a guess the sound maggie is that finished mm-hmm. no that's not finished Solera. oh i'm sorry i got confused <laughs> hold on ma'am nice Nice. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Here we go. We're Already? guessing the sound, baby. Are you Ma- going? Malt Licky. Are you going or me? You. Oh, okay. Yabba dabba doo. Here we go. I film everything outside, so don't let anything uh, ever get uh, you. A rake on concrete. Okay, Maggie. A broom. Sweeping, a broom on concrete. Yeah, so I was kind of halfsies. Yeah, I was Maggie, gonna. Maggie got it one hundred. I was gonna say broom, but I it sounded very rakey to me, like a plastic rake. Yeah, it was rakey. Yeah, very rakey. Um, so I only have one sound. Are you ready? Okay. Here yeah. we go. Oh, let me get it back up. Ready? Do that again can barely hear put it on your uh mic ready Ooh, i know what that is <clears throat> yeah hold on ready one more time go what do i can you put it a little closer i'm on bluetooth and it, my phone's all oh. the way up it's all the way up oh here okay. you turn it up a little bit maggie ready maybe not that loud ready Why do I fucking know what that is, but can't put my freaking clit on it? Do oh. it again. Okay, one more time. That's it. Ready? No, two. Why do I know what that is, dude? I hear it all the time. Oh my gosh, Moliki. It's not a toasty. No. Um, What the hell is that, dude? Moliki. Moliki, baby. Maggie, what is it? You're pulling like a, a chain to a a lamp or a ceiling fan. Yep. Oh, hell. That's yep. what the fuck it is. Nice job, Maggie. <laughs> it's the light in my closet yeah. that you pull. Maggie you pull, has dim ears. Yeah. She needs claps. Yeah. Okay, wait here. I have one more okay. uh, sound. Malt leaky, baby. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. If what, we what? start hearing. I, Maggie, I, 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 I was just about to say, what if we hear asses clapping? I would die. Oh, no. That's a here. good one, though. You should do that yeah. one day. Yeah. Let me let me get some claps. Okay. Here we go. I think I know what it is. Okay. Filing your nails? Yep. Woo! Boom, bada, boom. We did good. Yeah. Good job, everybody. We did really good. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Um, oh. That may be my favorite segment. Yeah. It's fun. It's it's, ho- fun. it's hard to yeah. come up with the sounds. 
because you're looking around thinking, what could I do that's not too, not too, um, out of the ordinary, not too like, uh, you know, like if I do this right here, yeah, you can't just be freaking, uh, yeah, robbing something together. Yeah, because you're not going to know. You're not going to say, ooh, that's the two uh, corn candle holders in the podcast room clinking together. You're not going to. It needs to be something. Yeah. Something that everyone knows, like, fucking, you know, the things we're kind of doing. What if uh, next uh, guess that sound I'm fingering myself? Just going, uh. No, not even. Yes. And then we hear your uh, clit sucker. (laughs) Dude. It may hop on here one of these days, and you'll never know it. Hey, you need to do the. Oh, open when your my pussy, pussy up. opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got those big lips that kind of stick together, and, and unless I, when I open my legs, it'll just do a. Creamy. When it opens like this, ready? Shh. Now that's that cream corn. That's that cream corn, baby. That's that cream corn talking to that's you. That's that creamed corn down there, just slopping around. Isn't it weird? Sometimes you you'll just hear it. Like out in public, you're like, oh, that was my pussy talking to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. And you know other people know mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. that is. Well, females, you know. Yeah. Or anybody with a pussy. Man, I was in Costco not too long ago, and my pussy itched so bad. Oh, there, there were so many people around that I had to, like, go find a quiet corner down an aisle that not a whole lot of people were on, and I just went to fucking town on that motherfucker. They got to catch that on the camera. <laughs> Can you I imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Woman caught on camera. And then you're walking around touching things. I know, right after. <laughs> with did pussy you go juice. wash up? That's why I need to carry a fork around everywhere I go. What did you scratch with, if you don't mind? Her I fingers. Didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> Ooh. I didn't scratch directly on my pussy. You're I didn't outside. put my hands down my pants. I don't need something on my record. You know what I mean? Yeah, dot. Because even if you aren't masturbating, your hands are down your pants in public. You can, they don't, you know, that could be anything. So I was definitely outside of the pants and I gave it a quick little, you know, I scratched my slit. And you know when you're rubbing up and scratching your um, vagina from the outer layer of your pants, you know that it's going to, you're going to have to probably wash the pants because when you rub the fabric to the pussy, it gets that odor. Mine gets the odor regardless. Yeah. If I, if my underwear go up past my knees, it's going to be smelling. Ooh. But the pants always? Yeah. Hmm. Two different pussies. Yeah. Most definitely. Two different lives and... Two different lives, two different pussies, two different... Atmospheres. Atmospheres, two different everything, you know, that make up what our pussies are like. That is true. We're two different people. Have you tried the no soap, though, yet? No. God, it works. I know, dude. I've been thanked so many times. My puss has been... Top tier. Smelling okay. I mean, it doesn't stink like it used to. Mm -hmm. So when it starts to smell, what do you do? It hasn't. No soap, gang. And I just got off my period and it still smells no smell. Hmm. And that's rare. Do you take the soap and still do like the top part, the Uh the leg part? Yeah. You still do all that, but but the the pink part, you don't. Don't get up in there with the soap. Hmm. I don't even do the other parts either. Uh, the first couple days was hard. Malt but, smelly. Uh-huh. Um, but once you stop, you can really tell the difference. Are you just getting used to the smell? No, no. that's not it. You can tell the difference between fish and not fish. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll try it. And I'll report back next episode. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm almost like a freaking pussy warrior out here i have Guru. people saying hey do you help me with my pussy it doesn't stink anymore because like, the I'm soap is what it. makes it stink i feel like oh well yeah. you're getting rid of the bacteria your pussy needs it's probably a f- dude soap is probably a freaking scheme no no it's getting rid of the right. bacteria that it needs yeah so i get you know the ph off yeah. yeah so it's like they is was it invented just so we so our pussies smell. It's that Summer's Eve. Uh, Mar- Summer's Eve marketing. I don't know, but I will give it a try. Okay? And I promise you, next week, our next episode, which will be a, a big episode for us. 
100. We're going to be in the double uh, triple digits. Oh my. That's amazing too. Whoa. Um I will report back on the pussy. The smells. Mhm. Don't just I mean actually give it a try. Like don't give up. I will. For real because it might take a couple of weeks even to get your pH like truly balanced. Okay, then should I the should that? I report back in 2 weeks? Maybe. Maybe do a half season report. Maybe for the hundred. Oh wait, no, because that's next week. Damn, it would be a cool. Lo- give a little update next week. Okay. And every week. Just the process. If possible. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. I sure will. Great. Um, Maggie, roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah. Hey, honey. BBC at home here. Yeah. I've been listening to some older episodes of the pod, and I was listening to one, and this girl talked about how her boyfriend said, like, sometimes after he comes, he can't hear, and you guys were like, never heard of that. Um, well, I had never heard of that either, um, and I'm almost 30 years old, <laughs> but my boyfriend he is amazing, and it is, like, literally the best sex ever, uh, ever, only person to, like, actually ever make me come, um, and the other night, we were fucking, and I came so hard, and when we were done... I swear to God, I could not fucking hear. Like, I even told him. I was, like, bent over, and I was, like, I cannot hear. Like, I I cannot hear anything right now. What is going on? And he's a rock fucker, too. And he immediately was, like, oh, on podcast, they talking about how this guy came so hard you couldn't hear. <laughs> and it was a really incredible night. It was amazing. I always joke about BBC at home. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to say totally thing. Um, it had never happened before, but yeah, you can definitely nut so hard that uh, you can't hear for a minute. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, listen to the pure joy in her voice from that big black cock she's pumped you can tell she's, she's getting it laid you can tell she was smiling the whole time she was talking you think when she couldn't hear she was going ma'am sir she's happy she's happy and hearless i don't think i've ever heard a happier person well dude you get that big black cock you never go back she's smiling from ear to damn ear she is truly living living man she's so i can't get over the pure joy might need to dabble well we'll see (laughs) only time can tell only time can tell why did the british broadcasting um company or whatever the hell why'd they name it that the bbc oh i don't know because every time i see that logo logo yeah that's all i see i can't unsee big black cock but if i'm starting a network i'm that's something i would call it yeah and you know <laughs> that they know yeah <coughs> you know <laughs> yeah they know that went over a whole damn meeting yeah and they didn't put two and two together but i think it's been around for a very long time maybe yeah. and maybe people didn't didn't uh have the say things yeah like they didn't you know they weren't going around just saying you know i don't know they weren't going around saying oh you know the abbreviation for big black cock is actually bbc right no Um, they weren't doing that i'm looking up here when the bbc started and it's funny the bbc is so big that even people here in america know what it is 1922 oh see Mm -hmm. like you know they came to my house huh yeah they came to my house and like did this um i was on the british broadcasting like I <laughs> the fuck? That is random. What the fuck? I've never told you this. Well, maybe I in just du- didn't know. No, not in Duchesne, in San Diego. Dude, they had me like fake skateboarding. I said, this just doesn't feel right. I'm not a skateboarder. What happened? They came 
they reached out to me. I could probably find the emails or whatever. Um, they reached out and just said, hey, we want to film you and put you on the British Broadcasting Channel. And um, so they flew. <sighs> what? <laughs> is this not weird to you? You're acting like this is like, like, what? Is it weird to you? Yeah. For what? Yeah. Why? What makes it so weird? <laughs> What'd they have you do? <laughs> That's what I... Okay, let's finish the story. What? I could have swore I've said it on here, but no, I guess not. Um, They just came to my house, and I was so hungover, I remember. Like, could barely fucking breathe. They flew from England over? I guess so. They had accents. They were more smelly, too. Um, Smelled like me. They stunk? Well, you know, sometimes I don't think they wear deodorant. Um, Who? Just people in... Oh, other I, countries and stuff because oh. that's why yeah dude i can go down to the gas station right down the road and find some motherfuckers that don't wear deodorant <laughs> you can be right here <laughs> that's, a, that's fucking every <laughs> you you're smelling me that, that's everywhere yeah every, every day brett sits right here i'm like <laughs> dude you smell like taco me <laughs> we can find a motherfucker right here in the podcast room that don't wear deodorant but go ahead it's either me or brett they came over um they had like huge cameras and they just wanted to film like a day with me and they had me and jerry at one point in the kitchen like throwing a banana at each other it's really weird and they like they were like okay drink your coffee and that and that point i said holy shit dude reality tv is the fakest motherfucking thing i've ever like doing that woke me up to a whole nother level of tv now i can't watch tv (laughs) <laughs> did you ever watch it the episode no but i gained a lot of like it came it came out yeah it came out you know i just don't really watch what were they like what were they had you gone viral or something or maybe pull it up dude page gen bbc <laughs> i've never looked it up they had my grandma on there doing the splits wait what they took some some of my videos and I don't know if the banana part even made the cut. What? what? Dude, they had me skateboarding, and it was... I hope that didn't make it. I don't see anything on here. I just... I, I looked up Page Gen BBC, um, and I don't see anything. It was all... T- type in, like, for the fake falls. Fake falls. A lot of hmm. people were like, you're on my TV right now, and it was br- the br- BBC... Mm-mm. I'll have to find yeah, it. Yeah, we'll really it. have to dig. Cause I've never been on there. Do you, Do you guys watch BBC? I mean, I've seen I've seen clips on like YouTube, mm-hmm. but no. Wow, that's wild. Interesting, huh? Yeah, dude. Like, what the hell? Huh? Okay, very interesting, dude. It was so weird. Yeah, good one. And the fact that I was hungover. You do better. You, I know you weren't like excited and prepared and like you just get, get, got drunk the night before. It's when my social media was like oh, kind of blowing up. Okay. And there was so much going on and like I was driving to LA doing this, doing that. And yeah, so I just kind of, and you know me, I don't know anything like mm-hmm. BBC. I just thought it was going to be some interview thing. They followed me all day though. God, that's wild. We got to find it. Mm-hmm. Well. Oh boy. Yes, we do. That's going to be embarrassing. Yes, I we hate do. that shit, dude. Um, but congratulations to the caller for having some BBC at home. That's more of an accomplishment. Big time. We're happy for you and we love you. Thank you for calling in. Happy nutting. Yes. Oh, who wants better sex and who wants to start having better sex immediately? Me. Well, the best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Mm-hmm. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, you guys, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. Thank you. Ooh. And listen, okay, they offer discreet shipping, okay? Privacy is a priority, okay? Discreet shipping. So if you think, oh, there's a weird guy that lives across the street, I don't want him knowing what I'm ordering, guess what? He's not gonna know. Uh-uh. 
Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys don't wait. Better sex is just a click away. Okay. That's 50% off one item plus free shipping. And guess what? You got the holidays coming up. All right. Mm -hmm. These gifts will be great. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Ooh. Just go to adamandeve.com. Use code viral at checkout. That's viral. V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's my moaning. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know if that one could get me. Wait. That's a little too aggressive for me. Um, It seems like you weren't enjoying it. I give that a 2 out of 10. Let's hear it. I love how he went in with it quick, though. Yeah, he got straight to the point. Hey, I'm moaning. I'm I'm here to moan. This is what I'm doing. I'm here it is. I want to hear it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, there's my moaning. Seems robotic. I'd have to leave. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I heard that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go to a damn concert and do that. <laughs> yeah. It seems. Yeah. It seems very. Yeah, you're right. Very AIE. Yeah, do that at a concert. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Moliki. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. do that, that. That's a concert <laughs> moan, for sure. But thank you for calling in. Do better a little yeah, bit. But do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, honeys. Cougar here. Oh, okay. I'm just curious as to how you guys feel when you go out to dinner with someone who invites you, who's paying, who tells you to get whatever you want. Do you actually get whatever you want? I never do. I always look for a mid-grade, not super cheap as to offend, but not the most expensive. I don't get whatever I want. I get something in the middle. My daughter, she's 22. She will absolutely get whatever she wants. She will order the lobster. I can't. I can't do it. I don't know. They say get whatever you want, but can't, you know, it feels rude to. So anyway, I love you guys. I love all of you. You make my day. I binge listen all the time and just curious on your answers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Love you, honeys. I love this. This is a good question. Uh Yeah. It's a deep, good one for sure. Because I got thoughts on this. For sure. Okay. <clears throat> if I go out and whoever, group, per, one part, whatever, they say, I'm paying, get whatever you want. I will absolutely not get whatever I want. I am with her. I get um, a mid. What if it's me paying? Well, you took me out to a steak dinner on my birthday and we I did do it at big. I got king crab. <laughs> But that's a birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I spent big. And friends are, yeah. close, close friends, I yeah. guess, are different. Um, I'm with her. I do it at mid. Now, I'm the type of person, I like to pay for dinner a lot. Um, and I will never, ever, ever at the beginning of dinner say, all right, I'm paying, get what you want. Very rare. Now, when we went to Greg's, uh, we had Greg's 40th birthday at a steakhouse and I did tell everybody beforehand, I'm paying, get what you want. Even if, cause I was ready to spend some money on his birthday. So I wanted people to have a good time and g- get what you want. But on the average, I will never say, get what you want. I'll wait and let people think they're behind their own. And at the end, I'll say, I got dinner. Okay. Yeah. Cause that, that would kind of be. Yeah. People might take advantage of that one. That's what I'm saying. Like her daughter. Uh That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if they say, like, get what you want, they're really just trying to cater. And, like, maybe they got the money, the funds, you know, to be like, they have the get what you want money. Then 
one right. day we'll we might be the get what you want right you know on that level but for me i don't order i usually just get sides let's yeah, be honest so i don't there's nothing for me that's too expensive unless i got like an alcoholic yeah beverage which is rare too. now i will do this if i'm out to dinner with somebody and i know they have money which hasn't happened a lot but like sometimes my management will take me out and they always pay they don't ever ever let me pay and i know they're using the company card oh they got the money and i hope they're not listening right now but (laughs) they are are. they They are are. (laughs) i will order whatever the fuck i want and i order two of them and i went with you and i did this and i freaking i did the same i'll be like you know what yes i'll get the in that occasion i'll be like give me the lobster give me this give you know yeah if it's on the company card it hits different exactly swipe exactly um feels so good swiping on the company card yeah but but on a regular if we're going to cheesecake factory or something or whatever i'm yeah I'll, i'll never like go balls deep if it's if it's a normal dinner i wonder why some people just do order whatever the hell they want like brett's told me before my grandparents would say order whatever you want so i'd get the peking duck yeah Hmm. why do some people just well because they take it literal get whatever you want and the person is saying that i mean you can't fault you can't yeah they are (laughs) saying get every get whatever you want that's That's why i don't say it at the beginning of the meal that's why i wait and say oh i got dinner Mm -hmm. you know for me though i just couldn't that's just me though i'm not the type of person to just do that to somebody yeah what about you maggie i always get mid yeah and i feel like it's funny she said her daughter goes all out because i feel like that's lola i was just about to say really lola yes yes order Mm -hmm. so much shit shrimp cups i mean she yeah. yeah Is she seen the price or just she seen the food item? She has. If we go somewhere really nice, yeah, she loves a good shrimp cup like me. If we go somewhere really nice, like for her birthday, went to a steak. You know, I usually have to tell her before, like, hey, let's. I feel like she's gotten better about mm-hmm. asking. Yeah, she'll ask, but still, she's gonna take advantage of that. Oh yeah, she will. <laughs> you know, she will. Hundred percent. She loves Dang. to eat. Hundred percent. Yeah. Dang, they're living. This was a good question. Yeah. Ooh, let's go to Cheesecake Factory after this. Okay. I am going to like get that pasta. The Malt corns, hungry, baby. They better still have the corn there. They better. This might be a summer thing. Let's go. We haven't been in a while. Freak, dude. Yeah. Um, Malt hungry, baby. I've been craving Cheesecake Factory. <sighs> God, let's the go. The brown bread. Oh, God. I haven't eaten today. Let's go. I need those avocado rolls in my freaking let's ass, dude. Let's go, dude. Um, let's do another question. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Scholarly debate here. Ooh. So my friend and I seen this TikTok where it blew the girl's mind that people don't pronounce Barks root beer as Barks root beer. They pronounce it as Barbs with a G. Barbs. <laughs> which got us thinking because I say it like Barks and she says it like Barbs. Hmm? Well, how do y'all say it? And then we seen another one where she said, it's not Sherbert, it's Sherbet. You don't pronounce the other R in Sherbert. <sighs> so we were just wondering how y'all say Barks and Sherbert. Is it Barbs, Barks, Sherbert, or Sherbet? Let us know. Sherbet. Sherbet. Love the pod, <laughs> honey. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Whoa. Whoa. That was a high pitchy. This is I'm, an awesome question, too, I think. I'm more worried about how she said root. I'm concerned with that G in Barb. She said Bart's root beer. Root. Root. Wait, which threw well, me that's off. that's what we usually... Root? Got to get my roots touched up. <laughs> but we say that as a joke because people say root. I have heard people say Barbs? sherbet. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that. Sherbet. And I sherbet. feel like it's old, the older generation. The older generation says they pronounce oh my gosh my grandma would say battery not uh-huh. instead of battery and she would also say battery is uh, she from no not england right but your grandma no right she's from missouri right why was she saying that battery batteries 
And then, uh, what's the other thing? Oh, God. Um, There's so many things. Um, I can't. Hold on. Mature. Oh, instead of saying mature, mature. No. Uh, and that's then, the other grandma. Temperature. <laughs> instead of temperature? Temperature. 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 My mom says shit just straight. She what just she leaves say? out things all the time. Like what? <sighs> she calls like a picture of water, a, like a picture of water maybe. A picture? Something like oh, that. Oh, bless her heart. She says like an earthquake. What? Instead of an earthquake. Like she just has her own ass lingo. I love that, dude. That's funny. I guess I kind of do. We all kind of have yeah. our own little lingo. But for bar for barks and bargs, though, I mean, is it a Q or a damn G? It's a Q. And I love, first off, barks root beer is my favorite. I say mm. barks. Barks is the only root beer with caffeine. Oh, it's so good. The other, the A&M and all that other A&W. stuff. A&W. A&W is too sweet. It, it, it's too syrupy for sure it's too sweet for me barks mm. is a good um it's it's stronger i, feel, I don't know almost yeah. like a good so a good fizz to, a good burn yeah a good fizz to something ratio and it's hard to find barks oh uh, well very oh, hard yep, to find yep I, I googled barks root beer one of the first thing that pops up on reddit anyone else having trouble finding barks root beer yep that's that's um, a new one then it is spelled b-a-r-q-s so maybe just some people think it's a g by the way it looks on the can and they say bargs yeah that could be it you but, add a g to onion sometimes so does onion. my mom you you say onion i've heard it uh, onion un, how do i say it you'll say onion sometimes onion onion mm-hmm. instead of onion yeah i've heard you onion. slip that one in onion i don't even and then you guys all say um well, I noticed Maggie says brawl or something she'll for say, a brawl. She'll say brawl. B R. We've and we've talked about this. Yeah, we either. have. She'll say brawl. Beth says oil for oil. 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 Yeah. Oil. That one got me. I said, "What the Shack. hell are you gonna do?" She's like, "Go get my oil change." I said, "What oil. the fuck is <laughs> oil? oil change?" Um, God, I love Bark Root beer, but it's B A R Q. Now, what was the other thing she said? Sherbert. Sherbert. That's an old person thing. Or old person thing. Sherbet. Sherbet. Is it supposed to be like? No, that's sorbet. I was uh, thinking, do Sherbert. people say sorbet or sorbet? That's like a, yeah. Um, you, do you know what this is reminding me of that I miss? The Swan Man. <gasps> God. Who the hell's the Swan Man? The I sw- saw the Swan Man when we lived in Escondido. He was at the neighbor's house. The Swan Man never came to y'all's house? <coughs> uh, tan colored, uh, like, truck, and it had he had, like, ice cream and meat and and just food and you would he'd come by and be like oh you guys want anything? you know want anything? okay swan swans it's like swans like a bigger swans, business Swans, man yeah okay um oh gosh and i, I maggie we gotta look up the swans I know, I would you have they... to like hire or like get orders from them right i think you can yeah remember um, we used to see them in our neighborhood and we were poor kids you know we had nothing and we would go ask him for ice cream, and they would give us these little ice creams uh-huh. with the sticks. Mm. That was the best thing. Ooh, the cho- just the chocolate vanilla was key. I guess they're called something else now. I, go- I just Googled Swan's Food, and I clicked on Swan's, and it took me to yellow.com. Um, but they mm. have air fryer food, meats, ice cream, frozen meal. Oh, it used to be bomb. I don't know if it is anymore. Oh god! I remember swans. Now, mm-hmm. the more you talk mm-hmm. about it, yeah, yeah. Apparently, now it's called yellow. No, I they feel need like to bring I was back always, the swans. Wouldn't they give out catalogs? I remember yes. asking my mom yes. for shit all the time, and she would hide those catalogs because she didn't want us to get us all. <laughs> you know, we'd it be was kind of prosy. Yeah, yes. and we'd be I mean, begging. Like, yes. Oh, a good swans man! I need to order some stuff from them. Um, I have to go pick the kids up from school. <gasps> Maggie Slayfin, you gotta go now. I have to leave now. There's one more call. You want me to play it before I leave? Yeah, let's play a, a call, and then we we have some other stuff going on. We're not done with the pod, you guys. I'll just slip it in there. Okay, Mal- love you. Drive safe. Bye, honeys. Bye. Here we go. Hey, honeys, long time listener here. You can say OG rock fucker. <laughs> um. Anyways, I am a second grade Catholic school teacher, and um. As the same thing is happening to you guys, I've picked up on your lingo, and I can't stop saying stuff like malt and, like, hey, honey, et cetera. 
but you would be so shocked how many of your little sayings I could fit into my classroom. Like, I always start the day with, hey, honeys. Uh, there's a lot of, if somebody's talking when they shouldn't be, I do a lot of, ma'am, hello, ma'am, shout out, Raj. Um, and then the best one is, I if I'm disappointed, I'll just say, do better. You can do better. And I caught a kid today saying it to his friend that was snapping pencils. He goes, do better. Just like that, because I do the freaking voice. Anyways, I just thought it was funny that you guys have infiltrated a Catholic school, second grade classroom, even the seven-year-old lingo. Love you, honey. Love you. Love you. Day made. I can see how that can definitely happen. Oh, it's so hard not to say. We get stuck on something or whatever, and it is, it is, we say, we don't just say this shit on the potty, guys. We say malt leaky and malt constantly maybe even more off yeah, yes <laughs> everything we say so everything we say and i we probably do the same with other people we hear just catch on to you know their yeah, lingo and absolutely. we all catch on to each other's lingo here like yep. it's weird and me and chelsea are actually starting to just sometimes like think shit at it's the weird. same it's, it's it's weird really weird we me and Paige. I can't even explain it, Paige. We, especially here lately, I'll say something. Either we'll say something at the exact same time or I'll say something and you're like, I was just about to say that or I was just thinking, like, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Constantly. A trip. Constantly. Freaking weird. Um, Telepathy. Yes. Uh, Do you have any lyrics you want to do? You didn't do that? You didn't get them Oh, I didn't know we were doing finish the lyrics. Finish the lyrics? No. Well, we can can do two truths and a lie. Oh, wait. Oh shit! Well, okay. it, hey, if you didn't if you didn't get any songs, that's okay. I'll just do them to you. Yeah, I probably have some just stored. Um. Oh, but yeah. Let's do tr- let's do uh whichever one you do, Beth. We'll play. Right. Yeah. Beth, yeah. Let's do it. Two truths, one lie. All right. <clears throat> Two truths. Two truths and a lie. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Has this <clears throat> been our first time ever in a podcast room by our, like ourselves? Yeah, it's just me and you right now, and Beth's, Beth's in her little her little, back her little office behind there. Yeah, it's just me and you. But has this been the first time ever, like, nobody's been sitting right there? Correct. Ever? Correct. Whoa. That's weird. Yeah, it is. Ready? Do you want to <coughs> eat my... Do you want to eat my ass? <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> Two truths and a lie. You ready? Uh-huh. I once worked oh, at a truck stop cafe. I once worked at Victoria's Secret. I once worked tutoring elementary kids. Which one is the lie? You've... <laughs> Why are you making that face? You, I swear you've said all of these to me. Wait, you worked once worked at a, as an elementary what? I'm not making eye contact. An elem- okay. elementary uh, tutor. Tutoring elementary kids. Okay. That's the lie. You did not tutor elementary kids. You were a substitute teacher. Final answer. Moliki. Good job. That was right? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you got me. Sorry, I'd give you that, but I'm not over there. Give me you the clap. Me. And I thought you'd get it. I, I was a substitute teacher, but I also worked at a YMCA, like watching elementary s- kids before school and i was trying to trick you you've said that one before too yeah okay all right well okay you you got me you almost got me with that damn tutor thing okay okay um let's see here a stranger wanted to breastfeed me (laughs) my first time having sex was at my grandma's house and i've never bought anything from sheen Okay, I believe that a I believe that a, a stranger wanted to breastfeed you. <laughs> I no. I believe you lost your virginity at your grandma's, but I'm not. I think you're trying to trick me there. The sheen is throwing me off because you're not a shopper. You're not a online shopper. You're not a shopper in general. But if you were, it would be the cheapest thing imaginable. So that makes me to believe that you have ordered from Sheen. Ooh, these are good, Paige. 
breast milk is off. That's true. So to me, it's between. <laughs> no, by the look on your face, is it? Okay, that's true. I know you threw a, a party at your grandma's house. But did you lose your virginity there? Hmm. Ah, oh, but then the sheen. Fuck. Um, let's do. <clears throat> Tell me when you have your final answer, okay? Okay, okay. Because okay. I'm gonna look down and close my okay. eyes, close my legs, okay, um, close my lips. Should I go with my gut, or are you trying to trick me? Um. God, I think you're. I think you're. Uh, I think you're trying to trick me here. Okay. Um. This is hard, you guys. I can't. Okay, let's let's. All right, I got my final answer. I know. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. You did not lose your virginity at your grandma's house. Correct. I really wanted to Dude, say the Shane. I, I was know. wanting to say the Shane, and last minute I thought I thought you're trying to trick me. You went with your gut. Mm-hmm. Always go with your gut. I went with my gut. Yeah, dude. I've never bought from Shane. I believe that. I just. Yeah. I just can't be doing that because it's like too much trendy stuff, and then I'll hate it a week later. And then it's just there, and then who knows what's going on over there? True. And the good it's thing the whole is. Damn thing. It's cheap stuff. So if you it was trendy and not later, you're you're not missing out. You spent seven dollars on a dress. Yeah, but but you's right. You's right. Absolutely. Um, Biffy, could we get you to get up and do one little uh, more sound bite for us? Sure can. Let's go ahead and play. Uh, finish the lyrics for us, and we'll mm-hmm. knock that out. Let's um, do that. I'd rather buy clothes from you know. I love secondhand stuff. You love maybe a, forehand stuff. Whatever. Yeah, you love a thrift store. All right, hit it. Mom always said finish your plate, and my ex always said finish on the first date, but I always say finish the lyrics. That's such a dumb intro, and it's so good. My mom always cried. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the lyrics, damn. Are you ready, Paige? I'm nervous here. Dude, I don't freaking, I forgot we were doing this one today. Well, here, let me, f- but you- hold on, I have a list. Okay. Okay, you go. Ready? <clears throat> Hello, it's me. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say that time's supposed to heal you, but I've done much healing. Hello. Woo! Can you, you got hear it. Me? You got it, bitch. Ma'am. You got it. Good job. Dude, we need to do a hello. Can you hear me? And then, ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> okay, ready for the next one? <laughs> Why was that so funny? You're going, hello. <laughs> I know. Here we go. <clears throat> oh. There's always going to be another. <laughs> I'm always going to want. There's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. Always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's on the other side. It's the crime. I'm going to give you that. You're a word off, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, no. Okay. Wasn't it waiting? Ain't about what's waiting on the oh, other. Yeah. What did I say? What's on the other? What, yeah. But, I mean, same shit. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Wow, I can't believe I'm getting these. Well, you got mad at me last time for not getting, not catering to the music you listen to. Oh, no, I was fine. <laughs> no, I know you weren't mad, man. But I tried to pick popular music, and now I'm trying to get things that I think are in your era of, like, when you were in high school, when you were in junior high, you know. But I gotta throw something else in there. Okay, it's not all about catering here. Oh, I'm no. Throw in something. This is okay, you also ready? fast food, whatever. <clears throat> I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Something fire. I walk the line. 
Can I go? Yeah, Beth. Because you're mine. I walk the line. Woo! I walk the line. Boom, boom, boom. You got, I mean, you knew what song it was. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, Cash, Johnny Cash, I walked yeah. on. You got I it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, Damn. Good job on that, dude. Um, do you have any music for me? Oh, yeah. It's okay if you don't. I got I got one. But, um, Let's do it, baby. Problem is... Hmm. Okay. I'm ready. Nope, you're not. Cause I, <laughs> I'm no, not. C- you're not, because guess what? What? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Why Maggie I- got it. Maggie got it. She nailed you. If you guys are not on our slits only every Friday... We got me, Maggie, Brett, and Beth in here, and we all switched. This has been weeks ago. We all switched, and Maggie was pretending to be Paige. We wore wigs and everything. Maggie was pretending to be Paige. Brett was where I am, and then me and Paige were over there. I was playing Brett, and we were acting like each other, and the whole time, Maggie was like, oh, hold on. I'm not ready. Hold on. Let me find a DM. Hold on. (laughs) She nailed it. It Nailed it. She nailed it. Uh, Today, though, I did really forget that we were doing this... um Okay. this thing but i do have a list i just have to now search them okay and you guys if you only knew what we're we're doing behind the scenes well we're eating each other's asses that we're and freaking screenshot and a yeah. trillion things okay yeah. ready mm-hmm. 25 years and my life is still trying to get that great big hill of hope for destination I realized quickly when I knew I should that the world was made of this brotherhood of man, for whatever that means. So I bloop in my bloop in my bloop in my bloop and I'm... Oh yeah! Yeah, I thought you'd begin that, dude. What's going on? (laughs) It's... And so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed to just get it all out. What's in my head? Oh, yeah. Are you feeling a little peculiar? Dang. Okay. Well, I didn't get that. Okay. Well, guess what? I bet you'll get this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Dude, I haven't taken a shit all day. You okay? You all right? Yeah, barely holding in. Okay. Okay. Shrimps want out. They want out. Okay. Quick. Okay. Ooh, it's like, where do I even start this one? Mm. Just start. Hold anywhere. on, hold on, hold on, hold you on. You gotta just start. Nope, you... Okay. Ready. How can you see? <laughs> see into my eyes With open arms With arms wide <laughs> open I'm gonna fucking pee my pants. Are we not done yet? Okay, no, okay, but ahead, it's ahead, okay. Ahead, it's okay. You already know it, Here don't we go. you? Well, let me see if I can finish the lyrics. Okay. <clears throat> Hold that. Oh. Go ahead. I don't have the lyrics pulled up. I just had it written down. How can you see into my eyes? Make open doors. No, you go. I can't finish the lyrics. I, I, you got to hit me with a chorus or something, you know, on that. Yeah. yeah, so. I thought that part was the most. Um, yeah, that's true. Good okay. job. Wait, hold on. Okay. Picking my next song. Okay, Dude. hold on, you guys. She's picking her next song. You can talk amongst yourself. Okay, well, while you're picking your next song, I'll go ahead and announce Rock Fucker of the Week. Please do. Um, Rock Fucker of the Week is where we find one person <clears throat> on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and if you have interacted with us, comment, share, anything. Um, we pick you to win a free viral podcast t-shirt. This week's Rock Fucker of the Week is Daniel Carpenter. Woo! Daniel Carpenter. Boom, 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 boom. Congratulations. <clears throat> Maggie's going to reach out and get your t-shirt size and we will send you a free t-shirt. Thank you, um, Daniel. <clears throat> everyone else, go to the viral podcast.co. <laughs> Leave out the M. Okay. Couldn't, no couldn't no snag, M's here. Couldn't snag that one. <clears throat> the Viral Podcast dot, dot co and get your merch. All right, you ready? Mike Wilmer said no M's here. Mike Wilmer. Okay, ready? Yep. Another head hangs slowly, 
child is slow. Wait, let me just, let me get up here. Okay. With their tanks and their bombs and their bombs and their guns in your head, in your head, they are crying. In your head, in your head, zombie, 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 eh, eh. Did I get it? Yeah, you did. What's in your head? Oh, man. Oh, what a great time. What a great installment. What a great program. Thank you guys for joining us. We love you. Um... We'll see you back here next week for another installment. And we couldn't do this without you. Literally. Oh, and the the um, list is from, my songs are actually from the followers. But oh, keep nice. sending me more a little bit more, please, and then I'll get those uh, lyrics ready next time for nice. you. Sorry about that. Please don't come at me. Yeah. Oh, dude. Some people were upset that, because I say things wrong sometimes. What do you say? Um just whatever you know and mm-hmm. i was saying sometimes i just say shit wrong because the shadow ban they could probably type in a mm-hmm. one word mm-hmm. one word and it could bring up yep. every single thing we say for this one podcast yep. so don't be all upset just know and yes. sometimes we just don't know words too it's okay to not know words you don't know everything and we just make up words too right exactly so everybody needs to chill yeah she said oh my gosh i can't believe she said Kamala Harris, it's Clamato. Clamato. Oh. Clamata. And I'm like, dude, yeah. I know the real, I know a name when yeah. I know a name. Yeah. So everybody chill. She knows names. Lean back. Okay. You guys need to lean back. The ones Ooh. that are complaining, lean back. I need to lean into the toilet seat. Are we done here? We're done here, honey. I got to freaking hey, go give, give us something. a call. Tell us some crazy stories. Ask us a question. Anything, honeys. <clears throat> Anything under the damn sun. Tell us what you did. Tell us if you sent, uh, sunbathed your butthole this summer tell us like what you're gonna do for the holidays if you have some drama we love the drama oh, we love the drama Stop. <laughs> i love hearing the drama <clears throat> and the crazy stories that don't sound real mm-hmm. that that you know happens love hearing them and we're coming up with some cool merch so mm-hmm. dabble and eat our ass and our phone number is four four two seven 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 three 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 one and always remember that you are doing great you're looking good and And fuck what everybody else thinks we're going viral dude i'm turtlenecking like for real go get up and go i'll finish this out i'll finish it out go we're going viral you shit anywhere honeys